What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video today, we're going to be doing the version 2 Jesse downpipe from Grim Speed. Now I'm not going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to put this in because I've already got a downpipe uh, tutorial video. I'll put it up here in one of these corners if that's something you need to check out. But in this video, I'm going to be doing unboxing. I'm going to be looking at like the craftsmanship of the downpipe. Because this is, you know, Grim Speed obviously always has top-notch quality, so we're going to be taking a look at that. And, uh, yeah, I just got to get the car kind of taken apart, take the cool intercooler off, you know, jack up the car so I can get underneath, and uh, get this baby installed and see how easy it is, too. So, and again, since it's Grim Speed, I assume everything's going to go flawlessly with this install. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. All right, so this is nicely packaged. It's got one of these fancy flaps on the front. Let's see if I can do this one with one hand. Flip it open, open it up, and right off the bat, you got the back side of the downpipe inside of the box. A little bit of foam protection. There's your slip joint clamp. License plate, thank you card. Some stickers. Oh, that's one of those new uh, limited cards. Those are cool. And then you got your hardware, your gasket for your turbo. And then it, there's another one for the downpipe, the cat back also. Then you got your bung there for your wideband. And let's take a look, get the first part out. Here's the back half of the downpipe. Take a look at those welds there you got some nice thick flanges on here all the way up there's your o2 sensor I'll zoom in on that a little bit more again your flange some weld job there and then you got your slip joint here i haven't installed the downpipe with one of these yet so this will be interesting to see how well it works so and once you get that taken out you've got a secondary box inside with the heavy part so I'm gonna turn the camera off and pull this out now I got the box out of the main box and I'm thinking this is in here because the casting is fairly heavy and you can see it kind of bung around in there a little bit but let's go ahead and pull it out lay it down here on the other box And there is the main show. Now here's your Jesse Cat. You can kind of see that there's a Grim Speed engraved on there. That's pretty cool. Of course, there's all the welds looking good as usual. And then the casted flange. It's all it's got that concave in there for the wastegate. Then you got that little divider in there. This looks really good. This thing's actually pretty heavy. So it's good too because I know it's never gonna crack up there at the turbo where it gets really hot. There's your wideband hole there. And right up top, you got the Grim Speed logo in the casting. So yeah, overall, this thing is way heavier than you would expect, which is fine with me. I don't really care. And then you got this guy right here, the back half of it. There they are together. So that's what you should expect when you get this box. That's everything you're gonna have inside. Now, I'm going to go open the hood, take off the intercooler, take off my turbo heat shield, take off my turbo blanket, jack the car up, get underneath, take off my old downpipe, and then we'll get the new Grim Speed one put in the car. Before I jack up the car, I wanna do all the under the hood stuff first so that I don't have to be up higher than I need to. I kinda of like when the car's down lower to work on it cause you gotta get, you know, all the stuff at the turbo is kind of hard to get to. It can be kind of tight down in there. 
the intercooler is fairly easy to get off and I don't if you remember when I installed these red caps I couldn't get to the last one under there so when I get this intercooler off I'm gonna put the last red cap from uh, the engine bay dress up the engine bay dress up cap geez I'm gonna get the last one put on there I just have to figure out where I put it yeah it's probably right here so anyways I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here and get this stuff taken out the most inconvenient part of doing this intercooler is getting the copper pipe loose and getting it out and getting it back in the clamp's not the easiest to get to because it's under the bypass but valve bypass valve jeez but yeah once it's all in it's super nice but getting it in is kind of hard it can be kind of frustrating too trying to get the slip back in okay i've got everything loose pull that back clamp up. Alright, let's get this thing out of here. Let's see it just... Alright, now that I got the intercooler off, I'm going to go ahead and take off the heat shield. Just some 10 millimeter bolts there. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. There's one, there's two, and then the hardest one down here in the ravine. My favorite part is going to be when I drop it. My other favorite part is that my ratchet is starting to take a dump and it doesn't really ratchet that well anymore. Alright, switching to a ratchet that actually works. My arm down in there. Try to unthread this last bolt by freaking hand. All right, now I got the heat shield out. All right, got the turbo blanket off. Now I got access to the bolts on the turbo. So I'm gonna go ahead, take all this crap apart, and yeah, just keep trucking along here. I got all the bolts off of the turbo from on top now. So now I don't want to forget to replace that guy with one of these Grim Speed caps. So I'm just going to do that right now. Found it. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Yeah, see, so I have to take that out and transfer it to the red cap. So I'm going to get this transferred over real quick and then I'm going to get it put on. Get it transferred over here. Get it kind of in place. And I'm just going to push down. Not quite there yet. Jeez, this is actually kind of hard. So for this one, I actually had to put it on the floor and step on it to get it to actually press in. So that's a snug freaking fit right there. Let's get it back on the car here. All right, there it is. All the caps are complete, which makes me feel pretty good knowing that that's not lingering in the back of my projects here. So I'm gonna go grab the old trusty jack over here by the mess of the toolboxes. Get this baby up in the air. Oakley dokley, got this baby up here. Got my 14 millimeter wrench. Gonna climb under here with my uh, shop light that's kind of on the fritz. Slide on in here. All right, let's grab the light so you can see. Let's go ahead, and get that last bolt off of there. It should be pretty easy. Just one little turn at a time. Slowly but surely, one hour later. 
Ah, there it is, the last bolt. Okay, something to not forget. Unplug the O2 sensor. It's somewhere up here, I can't remember where. And then I'll get those bolts out back there. Get under here again. Come on, little buddy. Time to come out. Ooh, that's a horrible sound. All right. Let's go. I gotta get that sensor off of there. This is actually so easy to do. It's actually enjoyable to do this because it's not such a huge pain. J pipes, pain. EJ down pipes, not bad. Okay, so the old down pipe is officially out. I got my O2 sensor here. Let's get installing into the new one. All right, let's open up the bag here. Take a look. What's in here? Tension, vehicle equip, blah, blah, blah. Now here is the catback hardware. And then the bong. So let's tighten that up. Just like the O2 sensor, this is a 22 millimeter. I'm not gonna go crazy on this, just make it a little bit snug. All right, so that's ready to go. Comes with the grin speed gasket. One thing I always like about grin speed is that they always give you everything that you could possibly need for your installation. There we go. Man, these things are beefy. Like I ever, I've never used a Grimspeed gasket before, but this is beefy. This feels pretty good. Yeah. So I'm just kind of prepping myself here. Put the hardware down here under the car so that when the time comes, I don't forget and have to get back up from underneath the car again. Got the down pipe here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this under. Which is a shame because I won't see it. It looks good, but it's gonna look good under the car. Put it down there. There we go. I guess it would be smart if I remembered the gasket for back there also. O2 sensor. Let's get this baby put on. All right, good enough for me. Slide this under and get her done. And here we go, back under the car. Get that shop light. Grab the gasket here. Get this put on the turbo. It's on as good as it's gonna be. All right, here comes the fun part. Ups the daisies. All right, here's the clamp. Just put this on here real quick. Whoa, it just slides right off there. Let's get serious. Get this guy here. Sorry for the crappy camera angles, but I'm working with what I got here. Get this put up. All right, now I'm gonna put this on. So I twist it and I'm gonna twist it up. Get it put on the bracket here. Let's fast forward a little bit. I got this put in. I got the slip joint connector on and tight. If you're gonna be doing this, this is gonna be a 14 millimeter wrench. Got the support bracket on. Again, that's another 14 millimeter wrench. The O2 sensor is in, and then the cat back is bolted on. And when you use the Grimspeed hardware, you're gonna need 14 and a 17 millimeter wrench to do that, those bolts back there. Here's the view of the cat from underneath the car. Got all those bolts on under there. 
as you would expect, all those bolts line up good. Everything's all tight down here. Let's take a look up top. Here's the view from up top. Got everything lined back up. We got the heat shield bracket back on. Everything lines up. There's your Grim Speed logo flashing you right in the face. All right, guys, so I got the car put back down. I threw everything back together really quick. Everything went really smooth. Old pipe there. Now in the morning, I'm gonna go outside, start it up, see how it sounds, and uh, get some sound clips of this new downpipe that Grimsby put out. All right, it's the next day. Let's get that sound clip, see if this sounds any different. I'm gonna bet that it doesn't. So the car has had a little bit of warm up now and honestly, it sounds exactly the same. It doesn't sound any different than it did with the Catalyst. So I'm probably gonna do a different video uh, to do sound comparisons from this one to the Catalyst because right now, just listening to an idle, it sounds exactly the same. It, uh, there's no difference. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for this install. If there's anything you want to see in the sound comparison video or the sound clips that I'm going to do next coming up, let me know in the comments what you want to see and I'll be sure to put that in there. If you plan on getting this downpipe, I'm going to put a link down below for you to click on. Uh, so far, I'm going to highly recommend it. I don't have any drivability yet with it, but it's looking good so far. So go ahead, give me a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. Uh, and we will see you guys next time. Later.